Hi guys, I'm Ross Overstreet with FLIR Systems. We're at the Solar Power International Trade Show in Anaheim, California this week. And I want to show you the trade show booth setup that we have showing IR cameras for solar cell tests. So the first station that we have shows our low-cost microbolometer cameras as well as our high-performance microbolometer cameras. It just lets the customer see how you can use them to see temperature differences. We have one set up looking out at the audience, then we have a few handhelds for the audience to play with. Then we move on to the high-end R&D systems. The first one is to show shunt or reverse bias for solar cell testing. It uses an A325 camera. Looking down at this solar cell right here on the table. The software that we're using is our Examiner Max software. And we'll excite the solar cell with reverse bias. And you start to see the corner heat up down here. So basically we're wiring the solar cell backwards here in areas uh, where we have defects, current starts to flow and you see it start to warm up. And that's among the simplest tests to perform for solar cells. The downfall of that test is it uh, puts enough energy on the cell you could possibly damage it. The next test is the most sophisticated solar cell test called lock-in. Here we have the SC6000 camera looking at another solar cell that we're going to stimulate with a source that's hidden underneath the table. But you can do it with a 20 And we'll go ahead and run the test. It'll require about a half second of data, and it'll take about five or six seconds to process. And you see the lock-in image over here on the right. So here you can see individual shunts on the solar cell. This has been optimized to show detail. This defect right here was something that I purposely created by scraping the solar cell, as well as this area right here. Uh, the rest are just naturally occurring. And finally, the last test that we're doing is an electroluminescence test. Here we have our new SC2500 near camera. And we have it wired, we have a power supply wired in series with the cell. And we're basically going to operate the cell backwards in this case. Instead of uh, photons in and electrons out, we're putting electrons in, getting photons out, but the photons are coming in near IR. So you can see the image on the screen here. If we turn it off, if we turn it on, see it reappear. And there's a dark spot up near the top showing an area where the, the photons are not being effectively converted into electrons and vice versa. Sorry.